G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here. Welcome back to the Microsoft Word tutorials. In this particular one, I've decided to put together a quick little document for you with some text and one little picture down the bottom. And we're going to learn how to select text, move text, and edit text. Now I know how stupid that sounds, but sometimes we have to go right back to the basics and I can show you some pretty interesting things. So hopefully you remember now that this little flashing line is the carrot and my little eye symbol that I keep moving around is my mouse cursor. Or I'm just going to refer to it as the cursor from now on. All right. So as for just moving around the text, there's heaps of different ways in which you can do this. There's buttons all over the keyboard that will actually help you do that. And there are buttons all over the mouse that are going to help you do that as well. So firstly, just left clicking somewhere. If I click in between the T and the U, it places the carrot there. If I put the cursor down here, it places the carrot there. Okay, and that's just a left click, just a single left click, You just a quick tap, don't hold it down. All right, and that's what that does. It's just going to place it in a different position. Now, if I simply click on, on the side, it puts it at the end of the sentence. Okay, same with over here, it's going to put it at the end of the sentence because there's nothing else on the side there. That's the last position on that sentence, or on that line, I should say. Okay, so what if I want to select some text? Okay, well, basically it's a pretty simple process. Same thing, you're left clicking, but this time you're gonna hold it down and you're going to drag your mouse cursor. So for example, I wanna select a welcome back to my tutorials. All right, a couple of ways I can do that. I can left click and then I can click and drag and that will select the text. And what that enables me to be able to do is it enables me to be able to bold things, italicize things, resize things, okay, set headings, okay. Really important to get used to that sort of drag, click and drag technique. All right, same sort of thing. I can do the same sort of thing down here. I can click and drag mid sentence and a couple of words almost, all right. And that will do the exact same thing. Now, different ways of selecting text. Okay, I've shown you the click and drag. The, another way you can do it with the mouse is by double clicking on a word. If I double click on a word, it just selects the single word, and that means I can edit just that bad boy. Let's say I can bold that one. All right. If I want to select a whole sentence, for instance, I can triple click. Well, it's a paragraph, I should say. It selects a whole paragraph. If you triple click, so again, if I select once, click once, it's just going to put the carrot down, double click will highlight the word, triple click will highlight the whole paragraph. Okay? So that allows me to affect the text all on that paragraph. Okay? Now there's probably more I could do with the mouse, okay? But they're the basic functions that you can perform. All right? The next one is on the keyboard. So to move the carrot around on the keyboard, you simply use the arrow keys. So up and down and left and right will move your carrot around. If you hold it, it'll move a little bit quicker with a bit of a delay at the beginning. Okay. Other ways that you can move it around, just above your arrow keys is generally home and page up and page down keys. Now depending, if you actually have a laptop, you, your keys are probably in different positions. But if I press home, Notice that it puts the carrot at the left-hand side of the line, and we'll put it at the right-hand side of the line. Page up, we'll move him up a page. Page down, we'll push him down a page. Okay, There's up and down. That might make you a bit nauseous, so let's stop doing that. Okay, so I would actually put the um, challenge to you to move the cursor around and edit documents just by using the keyboard without the mouse. Okay, sometimes that's a bit of a challenge. You might ask, well, how am I gonna select bloody text if I can't use the mouse, if I can't click and drag? That's the only way I know how to do it. There is actually numerous ways that you can do it. The second way that you can select text and by using the keyboard is you can actually hold the shift key. All right, so if you hold shift, doesn't matter which one, on the left or the right hand side of the keyboard, then use the arrow keys. So I'm pressing right. So it's selecting to the right of where my cursor was. So let's say I want to select to the left. So you hold shift and click left as many times. And you can let go of all that and the word is selected and then you can start bolding and things like that. Okay. Using a very similar technique, let's say I want to select 
let's go across to comment. I want to select the entire word comment in one go without holding shift and pressing the right arrow X amount of times. I can hold shift and control together. If I hold control, it selects the whole word. Okay, so again, holding shift and holding control and pressing the right arrow once, select an entire word on that one. And I can keep holding that and keep pressing it and it keeps selecting words and then sentences and paragraphs. So control can actually be very, very interesting. Okay, so that's pretty much moving around, navigating your text and selecting your text to do different things. Okay, so what I quickly want to introduce now to you is the idea of cut, copies, and pastes. Because some people have used it, some people may not have. Up here in the top left, it's got clipboard on the home tab. Clipboard is the most powerful thing that you can use when you're writing up documents and you need to move lots of information between documents. Maybe it comes from a website, maybe it comes from a spreadsheet. It could come from almost anything, okay? So basically, let's say for instance, this sentence is in the wrong place, or this paragraph. It should be at the bottom above the picture okay well what I'm going to do there that's effectively moving the text down all right however let's say I'll highlight this text using the mouse okay and the option I want to use is cut and what that does is it grabs the text and puts it on the clipboard ready to go ready to, for you to put it somewhere else all right what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a few spaces above this picture click on the last sentence Press enter a few times. All right, and I'm just going to delete one line because it was too much. What I then do is I click on the paste button and it just pops the text back down. All right, and you'll see it's moved it from the top down to the bottom. Now, let's say, for instance, I want this heading to appear multiple times throughout my document. Well, that then is a copy. Okay, so you select your text and you click copy. All right, select where you want the new one or the copy of it to go, okay, and then again, click the paste button, okay, and this can actually be applied to pictures as well. Let's say I want this picture to appear many times, I can copy, I'll make a space, home button, and I'll press enter, and paste, and you can see that the picture is going to appear multiple times. I can actually spam that and hit paste way too many times and get a stupid amount of pictures. But anyway, that's a quick little introduction to the clipboard for you. All right? And I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to go into more detail of it later on in the future. So you've got selecting text and playing around with it with a keyboard and mouse, and then you've got copy, cut, and paste. Try them out, give them a go, tell me how you go, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, down the bottom, ready to go.